digging out from the snow. And after hurricane strength winds drove the storm through, the next system now on the way. Damn champion on that shortly. But first, here are the pictures tonight. Across a half dozen states, images like this one. This guy is snowblower almost completely disappearing there in three feet of snow. And this, so common today, just trying to get the cars out that have vanished underneath the white stuff. And look at this tonight. Hmm. Behind me. I better buy some salt. Although salt might be more effective, it also causes damage to the roads, bridges, and the environment. It only adds on to the city's problems. Wow, I had no idea. Well, when it snows, the salt mixes with the snow, making it melt. When the snow is melted by the salt, the resulting salt water makes its way into the ground <laughs> and is absorbed by the plants, which become dehydrated and die. Water pollution is another problem salt causes. Some of the salt can end up in public reservoirs. So drinking water is not always safe when too much saltiness is going around. Also, people with high blood pressure are at risk because there's too much salt in the water. Also, it only takes five, one teaspoon of salt to permeate five gallons of water. That it done? Not quite. The salt also causes damage to roads bridges and vehicles. As you can see in this image, the area under the car is oversalted. This oversalting causes corrosion to vehicles. Oversalting also causes corrosion to roads. Damage like this can be incredibly expensive to repair. Which is like doing this to a car. Okay, so what can the city do about it? There's a couple things. In Farmington, Maine, workers seem to use modern technology to prevent oversalting. Their plows are equipped with computer systems that take into account factors like plow speed, air temperature, and weather conditions to spread salt more efficiently. These computer systems will put down just the right amount of salt just to melt the snow, without using too much or too little. Although these systems do cost like a couple thousand dollars a piece, they help save even more money. Okay, that's great. But oh, wait, there's more! There are also some alternative chemicals to salt. Among them are calcium chloride and calcium magnesium acetate. Calcium chloride is a substance that can lower the freezing point of ice, helping to prevent its formation. Unlike sodium chloride, regular road salt, it does not harm plants or soil. However, calcium chloride can do harm to trees, especially evergreens, according to Washington State. Calcium magnesium acetate is a salt-free substance that is environmentally friendly. Unfortunately, it's about 15 times more expensive than everyday road salt. Seattle has a very different way of approaching the problems of salt. In fact, they hardly even get rid of the snow. The city packs on the snow and ice, forming a flat, hard surface to drive on. Their plows are also equipped with rubber edge blades to minimize the damage and the roads of manhole covers. The city also uses sand to make the roads less slippery, along with this chemical de-icer that works only at low temperatures. Seattle system is efficient, but it's ex inexpensive. But cars require four-wheel drive or chains to be able to drive on them safely. So what's in the best for some of well, it all depends on the conditions. Seattle's idea is great and cheap, but it restricts driving conditions. Chemical substitutes are just as effective as salt, sometimes more so, but and don't cause as much harm to the environment, but they are very expensive and would eat up the city's budget. So that's the computer system from Maine, right? That's right! They're the best option for Somerville for three reasons. Number one, they prevent oversalting and all the problems that it causes. Number two, they, even, although they cost like thousands of dollars, they can help save that much too by using a lot less salt. And number three, because they don't use as much salt, the problems they cause that might cause like money to repair doesn't exist anymore.